Hi, it's Megan. So, I was looking at the Josie Marin Argan Beautiful Eyes at Sephora, and when I was swatching them, I wasn't sure about the product. Um, and so I waited a couple months before doing this video. I have had this product now for two months, but I'll tell you what I was concerned about. When I was swatching them at Sephora, all the samples were really dried out, and I even asked the salesperson there, um, is it me or is there no pigmentation? And she said, no, there's no pigmentation as I was rubbing it on my wrist. But I really like the blues and I decided to give it a shot and I'm glad I did and I'll tell you why. First of all, we all know Josie Marin products are more natural. They don't have the same kind of preservatives and all of that. So by waiting two months, I wanted to see if my palette dried out because when I got mine, it wasn't at all dry. It was actually the opposite. So I thought, okay, this is so different from the one I swatched at the store. How come? Is it just that it doesn't last very well? So I've now had this for two months. It's still in the exact same condition that it was when I got it. It hasn't dried out. So if you swatch them in the stores, it may not be, what you see may not be what you get. So it comes in a box and then it comes in this sleek, it's like a rose gold shiny package. And these are the colors. I'm trying to keep that off, keep that mirror off camera. So it's four eyeshadows and then a liner. It's just $36 and 0.39 ounce. And then it also comes with a little lookbook that tells you what the shades are to be used for. But I kind of ignored that from the look that I uh, have on right now. And I've worn this a couple times again, just trying to figure out how to make it work. And I found a couple things. First of all, it is a more natural product. It does have a slight smell to it. I'm not sure what it is. I guess to me it is the argon oil smell. I've actually smelled argon oil that doesn't have a scent in it and this really is what it smells like. It's not the prettiest smell. If you're super sensitive to smells you might like, not like it. It's a little bit powdery and I found that if I wore it without an eyeshadow primer it didn't last as long as I would have liked and it was a little bit sheerer than I would have liked. With an eyeshadow primer it's amazing. The pigmentation and the wearability are just fabulous. I didn't even build this up very much on my eyes, but you can still see it's just such a beautiful natural blue look. I could have built it up a lot more with the eyeshadow primer and I wore this once. It lasted, when I actually did build it up a lot more, it lasted about eight hours. Which I thought was pretty good given that this is a natural uh, product line and by say lasted, it lasted longer. It was just flawless after eight hours. So Four eyeshadows, one shadow liner, expertly coordinated to offer the full ultimate range of a customized looks. They have argan oil and then floral and fruit extracts resulting in soft and nutrient rich textures including iridescent matte and satin finishes. And then of course there's no paraben, sulfate, and the whole list of things that aren't in here, all those awful chemicals. And there's vitamin E. So the shades. There are two blues and I think these look worse swatched than they look on. Um, I like shadows that I can sheer out a little bit. These are a little bit powdery, but they apply beautifully. Look how pretty that color is. So that's the first one, and that is a shimmery, it's a teal aqua, but it's just got almost like a duochrome thing to it, where if I look at it from one angle, it looks like a pinkish yellow. It's a very beautiful color, and I use that right on the inner part of my eyes, the inner half. I ignored the lookbook, by the way. Look, cheat sheet. I just did it with a softly brushed on with a brush like this. This color right here is a grayish taupe. And again, they're a little bit powdery when you put them on, but they blend really, really well. This one's the most powdery of the lot, and it's a matte. And you can see, it's almost got a blue undertone, but it's like a taupey gray. And that is pretty sheer. The next color is a sky blue, right there. And so I did the sky blue under as a liner, and then the liner shade I put in the outer corner, and I did the taupey gray on the side and into the crease a little bit, so the second half of the lid. What I like about the taupey gray is that it really smokes up the blues, and you can smoke it up a lot more, you can wear it by itself. Um, I think blues sometimes can look a little overdone, so adding a, another color like gray or this next one. Um, this makes it look more sophisticated. The next color is the corner, and this is, it's a peach, it's a shimmery metallic peach, uh, which almost has like a slight gold undertone. It's a very light shade, it's a great highlight shade. And this one I put 
right up here and right up here and then I put just a little tiny bit in the corner of my eye to open up the eye a lot. It's a, since it's got a slight sparkle and it's so light it can also be used right here to kind of open up the eye. You can even use it as a highlight here. The last shade is it's like a navy cobalt and this is a liner and I actually wet it so it's right there. I wet it to use it as a liner and so you can see just a light line right at my lashes and then coming slightly down here. So what I like to do with the liners is I take the, I don't, I look really hard if I do a dark line all the way under my eye. This is too much with my eyes being the size they are. So I just do the darker color in the outer corner, a soft line along the eye lashes, and then I blend in the lighter color on the bottom. So I just get a light dusting of color. So it evens out the eye by putting that light dusting of a lighter color, but it doesn't have that same kind of hard look. So overall, I love this palette. Not everyone will. I love the palette, despite the fact that it's slightly powdery and you do need to use um, an eyeshadow primer. And some of the colors are not as pigmented. I think they're pigmented enough for me, but they're not as pigmented as other brands. Other brands sometimes can have this like massive deep, rich, intense color, which I actually don't like on myself because I look overdone. So I think these are the perfect balance of kind of a light, soft touch that you can really build up beautifully, that you can wear a blue and still have a very natural look with it. Um, I haven't had problems with my palette drying out yet, but uh, we'll see how I feel in a, in a year or so. But uh, it's beautifully coordinated, balanced colors. I think they're stunning on. I love the mix of colors. I typically don't use the sky blue and kind of the aqua blue together. I use them in separate looks, but I use them for this eye just for the video. But I just love every single color in this and I love how it wears. I love how it applies with an eyeshadow primer. And I think that's it. Uh, if you have this or other colors, I would love to hear. Comments are welcome and please subscribe on YouTube. Thanks.